The Armed Forces Seasonal Athletics Competitions are known for feeding the nation new athletics champions, to name but a few Richard Martelong, who compete in 3,000 meter steeplechase, and one time Boston Marathon champion Catherine Deremba. Different camps did their warm up at Nyo National Stadium ahead of the Thursday's athletics competitions that may as well determine or give a clue of the next big weeks in the sport. At the same time, Jacinta Odima, a female Paralympian competing in the 100 meters race, was at Nyao National Stadium testing her leg equipment that she will be using in the Olympics to support her right leg. Odima, who was in Milan, Italy last month, took part in the two kilometer race with a supporter, and according to her, it is efficient. It is very flexible, it is very nice, and it is very good. So I hope in future, apart from me only, other people will be able to. To run those people who have been who have amputees in Kenya. Yeah. The equipment cost 500,000 Kenyan shillings and it may prove expensive for most Paralympians. It is very effective in terms of uh, the science has been put in it. So uh, this has been tried out and that's the reason why we went to Milan uh, Marathon to try it out to see how uh, uh, functional and effective it is. But all the same the science behind it is very effective, but this product is only viable for running either for above the knee amputees and below the knee amputees. Like what we have now uh, is a product for below the knee amputation. Odima may be among the Paralympic team that will make a squad to London Olympics come July this year, where Kenya is upbeat of clinching as many gold medals as presented to them in any competing category. Manuya Kevin. GBS News.